Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. Let me read to you out of the book of Obadiah. It's only one chapter, and I'm not going to read the whole chapter. I'm going to read to you the 17th verse. It says, But in Mount Zion there shall be those who escape, and it shall be holy, and the house of Jacob shall possess their own possession. Those who escape. Now we talk about uh, our, our hope for eternal life. I think about it a lot. We talk about being saved. Uh, sometimes, and when we're walking outside of Christ, we talk about how hopeless things are or how we hope things will turn out for the best. Here's another picture of salvation that, that is given to us in the Bible. In Mount Zion, in the, in the place of God, where holiness is, where the hand of God is made known, where he reigns supreme, there will be those who escape. Now, if if I said that I escaped from something, that means I was in a position of powerlessness, of bondage, of loss, of grief, and of affliction. But I escaped. Well, it doesn't say a lot for me if I needed to escape. Might you know, if it, if it was a, a jailbreak film and a prison break film, we might say how clever, how resourceful, how bold was your escape. But the first thing is you were imprisoned. And mostly the, the escapes we talk about can't possibly uh, commend us that much. We barely got out. We were almost destroyed. Well, this is our standing before God. We don't bring anything to the, uh, to the table with God. We're in affliction, we're in bondage, we're broken, we're bound, and we escape by the loving hand of God. Sometimes I'm glad to just call it escaped. Um, I don't want to make it sound into something like I did very much. I said yes to God. Uh, when you set your hands in your, 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 uh, your life in God's hands, you're accepting his help, admitting that you don't have what it takes to fix it all. So escape with me to God and be blessed.